Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Behind the Likes. This is episode 12. I'm Winter. And I'm Shy. And we have a guest today. What's your Hi. name, girl? I'm Heather Sanders. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you guys already know that, though. We've been teasing who's going to be on this episode, and y'all keep guessing, keep guessing, and voila, it's an original baddie. Y'all have guessed right, though, because they did they did guess her. So Yeah, mm-hmm. some of y'all did guess her, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, And we were excited. That. We were like, she's perfect. Yes. I love that. You're our yeah. first girl, so yes. we're excited about that, too. Second guest ever, first girl, and honestly, like, we got a lot of feedback from the first time we had a guest, mm-hmm. and they were just like, we want to see girls. Like, yeah. We don't want to see no funky ass boys they're like, like we don't want to share this platform with men and i'm like all right, we gotta we gotta balance it out but i'm like i'm excited to have you here too yes i'm we, happy to be here thank you for having of me of course we're so excited um we actually are gonna play a game today a drinking game we know that you guys call us alcoholics but it's a special occasion so you know we gotta celebrate and, and it's the 12th episode yeah so that's, that's a, a big that's deal that's a big milestone for us it really is to be that consistent mm-hmm. but you have a podcast too right yeah we're are you part of one yeah, yeah so yeah, I'm a part of one. i did this she's she is embarrassed at this but i did all the stats i did everything i was like y'all i really like depth dive deep Love dive that. into you she Love went that. all the way down to her first instagram all right, post, i wasn't gonna tell you that i wasn't <laughs> no you did not <laughs> <laughs> oh, girl i got a lot of posts <laughs> I've been posting on Instagram since 2000. And she was an original baddie. She was an original influencer. But I didn't go like p- picture for picture. I just, just went on the scroll. grid. You know She's what I mean? She's lying. She went picture I for picture. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, y'all. I know. I don't want to come unprepared. So I was like, you know, yeah, like you, you know, she has her own yeah. podcast. You are have almost damn near two million followers. You yeah. know, mm. a store, a store, mm-hmm. and I know when you started that too. Wow. You were 22. Yeah. Right? Ooh, you are scary, yeah. girl. <laughs> That's no, crazy. I'm. I literally was like following you years and years ago. I remember when you had your first daughter. Wow. I was literally following you way back then. Are we obsessed? Oh my God. We're obsessed. Okay. <laughs> I Okay, so I'll I tell you that. the real. I'll, you. I'll tell you the real tea. So I remember I would like follow all your stuff. Like you had like a YouTube channel. You had everything. I remember one time I reached out to you and I was like, you were so transparent. Like I had just recently went to go look back at the message. Yeah. I was like, you're so transparent. She left you on red. No, she responded. She responded. But then I met you one time in person and I was like, oh my God, I think she doesn't like me. I swear to God. A lot of people say that when they meet me in person. I don't know why. No, you weren't mean. You were not mean at all. You were just very like, hi, okay, bye. And she's like, do you have social anxiety? Yeah. She oh, has, you have the I same mean, thing. People really bad. Say the I, same I remember you. Quavo's in Takeoff or something party, yes, right? Yes, it was somebody's birthday party. Mm-hmm. Somebody's it was at birthday. some like carnival type thing. Yeah, I remember that. And I was like, I love your YouTube. And keep my, I really don't go up to people. Y'all know I talk about this on the podcast a lot. I really don't like care to like look at people and be like, I fuck with you. Like, you I know, I remember that. Yes. And I was like, oh my God, like so awkward. She hates me. What did no, I do? I'm she needed so me sorry. as a buffer. Cause it's like, I'll, I'll go in the room with anybody. I'll be like, hey girl, you want a yeah. shot? And then I oh, also found out she was in Aquarius. Same. Uh-huh. So, you know, that was like, yeah, that Aquarius was it too. Yeah. <laughs> but wait, so you have social anxiety and you don't. No, not at all. Two different Aquariuses. I know. You know what? I think I'm slowly coming out of my social anxiety face. But also, it's also y'all have a big following as well. So you have to be very mindful of the energy that you portray when you're out in public. True. I still don't give a f- that much. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Y'all have to be, y'all are really more aware. Y'all have dealt with like public scrutiny for a long time. Mm-hmm. I get, I do get nervous a little bit. Like I was just at like some Texas airport and normally I don't care if it's like one person, but I was at like Chick-fil-A and it was hella teenagers. And for some reason, that's like my demographic of people who know me. Uh-huh. And they were all like coming from behind the counter. And I was like sweating. It was like hella random Texas people wanting to take pictures and <laughs> looking and trying to figure out who I was. I'm like, I'm not shit. I'm not shit. I swear. Like Literally. they're just kids. They're just excited to see me. I don't know why, but that's funny. I sometimes do get nervous. Should we take my a shot? boyfriend? Yeah, my boyfriend gets social anxiety too. And like after like one shot, he's like thinking he's a f-ing president. I'm like, please yeah, stop shaking. Everybody's hand. Let's take a shot. Cheers. 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 Ah. We got Risha Roulette has her own little shot. Look, we support Mm -hmm. Risha over here. Carisha, come on the podcast. I know, right? Carisha, come on. Come on, Carisha, please. She's an Aquarius, too. I know, right? Mm -hmm. I know all Aquarius. Y'all out here. Cheers to the 12th episode. Cheers. Hold on, I gotta give me some Red Bull. All right. Hopefully, this is not too crazy of a night, y'all, because y'all know once we start mixing Red Bull and tequila, it just gets long. Yeah. So it turns out. We'll be out at strip clubs at 7 p.m. Just us two. Throwing money. Nobody else. Yeah. Y'all sure y'all don't want a shot? She has her sisters here, y'all. I also know she has sisters. I'm just kidding. 
<laughs> that's another thing. She has hella sisters. Also, Do you just have two? Don't need that bathroom. I have three. Oh, three. God yeah, damn. So I have two in Texas and then one lives out here with me. Aww. But she's just out here visiting today. So do you guys like do any work together or anything? We don't. Really? Well, my little sister, she works for me. She works at my store. Oh, Yeah, she okay. like manages my whole Come store on, and just helps me around my house with my kids. Oh, really? Like that. Yeah. Wait, so how many kids do you have now? Three. Okay. Take a shot. Take okay. a shot. Sorry. You, I keep I, I'm you. a thought sipper. Oh, oh yeah, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, we, we understand that for sure. Because we'll just, we just have to be like, let's chug it off. Oh, yeah. We really have a problem. Um, okay, so you have three kids now. I have three kids. Just had a baby. She turned two September 4th. Oh. So What's that? A Virgo? Beyonce's mm -hmm. birthday. Beyonce. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That's did you go to her concert? I didn't. See, I, I, I didn't so either. Yeah, no. I didn't either. I didn't buy the tickets. And then when it came around, when she was when here, you see it was everyone, just, I'm just, like, mm, I ain't buying I those tickets. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Y'all have fun. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. So you have a business. You have your mother of three. Mm -hmm. You have your I man. Just, your man. Yeah. I see you have a nail line, too. Like a, a not a nail line. It's a uh, poly gel polish. Gel polish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I did mine myself. I'm a DIY girly. I know that's Don't right. look at them Thank up close. <laughs> I'll send you some polish if you do your nails yourself. Yeah, I do. Yeah, oh, I do. You should. Oh, I would actually. Love that. that would be so cute, Shy. Mm -hmm. So you have a man too. So how is it balancing all of that? Like, how do you find the balance or the fine line between it all? It's a lot. Mm. It's a lot, but I have fun. And every mm -hmm. day I work on something different and it's a roller coaster every day, especially now since what happened with my store. We had a big flood. Oh, I heard about that. Yeah. Like, really? And so yeah. like we've just been shut down ever since and I think it was just a blessing. It's in still shut down? It's still when shut was down. That? I'm still going through the insurance. It was August of twenty twenty two. Oh my god. So it's been like a months. little bit over a year and yeah, I'm just, I think it was just a blessing in disguise because I've got to focus on so many other mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. like Back on Fig, the podcast mm -hmm. that I'm on with yeah. Terrell and just like being with my kids, being able to pick them up from school and just doing different stuff like this and right. getting on my TikTok content and just like. So do you want to like get it back rolling though? I do. You do? Eventually, yeah. Yeah. Eventually, for sure. That's all I know. That's all, I, that's all I've yeah. ever known. You How know? many years have you been doing it for? I've had a store on Melrose for like eight years. That's crazy. that's a long time. And I've ha I've been in business since 2012. That's great. Because, you know, it's people really time. don't last on Melrose. They don't. We know. see girls come and go with their shops on Melrose. It's a lot of work. Like, Me too. You have to really be like it's hard. Mm -hmm. in it and know what you're doing. It's so a lot. I'm sure that was like a lot of trials yeah. and tribulations. How do you stay consistent with that? I think it's just everybody around me that just like loves it just as much as I do. And everybody just wants to see it succeed and to just grow every day. And I don't know, like, I love it. I enjoy it. I've just always just never wanted to stop. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. And like now I've been kind of like forced to just pull back just a little bit because I'm so involved mm -hmm. in my business. And it's good, too. And I'm like, okay, I can do both. Yeah. Like, I can mm -hmm. do both. I can still have a business and I can still do content and mm -hmm. take care of myself. Because yeah. for a long time, I didn't take care of myself. And I was just so focused on my business. But I think that's what it needs to grow. Mm -hmm. You know, it needs you consistently. So I've just always been doing that. I'm like, I'm a worker. I'm a yeah. hard worker. Yeah. So I'm just like, no, work, work, work. And then I've just did that since 2012. And it just that's so has crazy. grown every year. And it's just been successful. Thank God. Like, so blessed. Like, everybody loves it. And yeah. Do you guys have stores? I'm not sure. Do you guys have stores right next to each other, too? So we bought two stores mm -hmm. and we just turned it into like our photo shoot space and like oh, our office space. That is so Very smart. smart. That is so, that is so smart. smart. We, yeah, need us a, we need us a podcast studio. We do. We I, I, it I out. said that, and you were like, we don't, we don't have enough. One step at a time. Step at <laughs> yeah. Time. <laughs> Recently, we just moved to a new warehouse, and we're, like, in the midst of moving. And I've been, like, so in my feelings because mm -hmm. I've been on that street for so long. Mm -hmm. Even though I don't know if I'm going to have my store return back to that same place because I've went through so much drama at that place. Right. So I'm still kind of like wobbling there, but I know for sure that I wanted my warehouse to be close to my mm -hmm. house in the valley. Yeah. Are oh, you saying the valley? We were yeah. wondering where you're coming from. Yeah. How, where Woodland where do Hills. you stay? Woodland Hills? Uh -huh. See, if I had family, if I had a man and some kids, well, I have a man, have but a man. if I had some kids. <laughs> Evan? Don't watch I know, this. Right, yeah. <laughs> no, if I had some kids, I would I would want to live on the outskirts of LA. I feel like this is too like, for just sure. busy now. Yeah. yeah. For sure. So, I, we just recently, like, we're we're in the midst of, like, moving my warehouse and stuff, and I'm kind of in my feelings because before I was on that street, 
my man was on that street mm -hmm. for like three years with Last Kings and like Tiger. Oh, and oh yeah, I remember that. that. Okay. So we have a lot of memories there, like yeah. twelve years worth of yeah. memories. That's there. a lot. That so is, it's mm -hmm. yeah, it's that's my whole lot. life yeah. here. Because I, I yeah, here. I've lived out here for ten years. So that's like our. That's I everything. Yeah, same like. 12, 13 Damn. years. We have been here 10 years too. Are we getting Nine, old? Ten. Are we? Jesus Christ. Yeah, we are. Damn. No, it's just a lot. But <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I have so much help and I just, and I don't know how I keep it going, but I, I do. That's I amazing. You're such a super That's very, woman. Yeah, I know, right? so very admirable, very commendable Seriously. because it is hard. We both have, well, you have a clothesline. I just started the clothesline in January for my birthday. Mm -hmm. And nice. I'm like, I forget about that shit once a month, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like every other month. And I'm just like, it's hard to stay consistent and like you, nobody is going to do it but you, you yeah. know, nobody's yeah. going to tell you to do your business but you. So it's exactly. like doing that is very commendable because I know how it is. I feel like for me, like, yeah, I, I did like clothing lines online and stuff like mm -hmm. throughout the years, but I really am not passionate about it. And like, I finally was just like, okay, I'm about to like stop doing this for money because I'm really not passionate about it. And mm -hmm. I feel like I'll put my eggs in so many different baskets to like get so many sources of income. And then it's like, I feel like I'm kind of like watering down myself when I should just be focusing on one thing. Yeah. So like for me this year, I was like, I'm not working with should I say it? Fashion Nova. I'm not working with like Fashion Nova anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be like a Fashion Nova girl anymore. I don't want to do this clothing store anymore. I'm not mm -hmm. passionate about it. Like, I don't want to even focus on like what I originally came to LA for, which was music. I'm like, I'm going to just put my all into this podcast because I'm going to just give it a go. People want me to do it. I love it. this for you though. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's been going well. Like yeah. we really like, and I never, we've talked about this many times, but I did not want to do a podcast. I was adamant. People used to always say, start one, start one, start one. And I was like, no. I'm not a podcaster mm -hmm. and it turns out I am a podcaster so right. I love that I love <laughs> that in with it. Right. see I want to start my own because I I just do it with my man just because I'm like I just want to help yeah. mm -hmm. in any way I can That's such a I good just want to help like and you. he's helped me with my business like we've just always worked together since mm -hmm. we've known each other we've mm -hmm. always just hustled together that's right. our that's just what we do so when he started that I'm like okay I can get on there and I can do this and I can do that and I became like a character on there right mm -hmm. and it's a predominantly man men show mm -hmm. that watch it so sometimes I get hate but do the you? That they do hate, you? They love the most. Wait, what hate you get? Hate. You get hate. They're just like, like, oh, so sweet. Thought, How do you like, they hate? don't want to hear about my girly stuff. I would oh, love God. to hear all so about it. So I'm like, maybe one day I'll start my you own. You need your I own. Know. I already started my own YouTube channel. I've always okay. had it with my family. Mm. So I'm like, I'll start that on my own. I could do like my nail days, my hair days. stuff. Cute. I love yeah. to yeah. do vlogs. Like, I don't know. Yeah. How is it mixing? Like, I guess you would say business with pleasure in a sense. Like, because this is your man. This is your home. This is getting very in detail with your life how does that go with you and him together you know? it's hard right it's hard it's a lot of fights it's a lot of talks that you don't want to have really um it's just like it's kind of annoying because you're together so much mm -hmm. right and even before I started Sorella I was always with him and mm -hmm. like he always took me on the road with him and like I was just always with him and Tyga mm -hmm. and that's all I ever knew and one day I was just like, I can't do this no more. Mm -hmm. yeah. I want to start my own thing. And yeah. then that's yeah. when I started Sorella. And he invested into me and he helped me start it. So it's like both of ours. And then I had that to focus on. And yeah, I don't know. We just, we've always worked together and we've always enjoyed it. And it's never been like a burden on us. And that's, like, that's the most important thing then. We've had kids in the midst and <laughs> we just bought our first house like oh, a year ago. Oh, We're renovating it. It's just fun. I'm just yeah. like, this is my person that yeah. I'm just going to go through You're life You're just with. locked in yeah. all we the way. We make money together. That's the best. Do you feel we like, have fun. Do you feel like you ever have like, since he had like his own thing going on and then you were like, okay, well, I'm over this. Like, I want to start my own shit. And it became so successful. Do you feel like you ever had to, because we've talked about this before, being a successful woman, having a partner that might be jealous of your success or might feel like, you know, like, what the f like, yeah, okay. I didn't expect it to be like you, this. You doing a little you know, too yeah, good, like, 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 you know. Some men will be like, <laughs> he right, I only want you so far. Yeah. Right, yeah. That's he's true. so tight. He's always wanted me to win. He's like the type of uh, boyfriend that just like, he wants to buy the shoes. He wants to buy the bags. He wants to see you look good. He's mm -hmm. like, he's just that type of boyfriend. So mm -hmm. when I had a business, I started making money and 
doing everything like on my own he was just like yes i love this for you like yeah. my bitch is like that bitch. right like, she has bread like she does this she does that and he always liked it and always praised it thank god because right. i don't think i could deal with an insecure man it'd be the people be jealous they're yeah. weird and like especially like you're so lucky that you have somebody that you've been locked in with for so many years because yes. like for me for just any woman i feel like when you first are encountering somebody the first thing you want to say is are you going to be insecure about this? Are you going to yeah. be able to deal with this? Like if I'm around mm. certain people or like, are you going to be able to trust me? And it's like, it's so hard to like meet people now because I'm single. So when I meet people now and they try to say, <laughs> look, I'm single, whoever's watching. No. <laughs> <laughs> but like people will act like, oh, they're so cool. They're so down and it's all good. But then it's like then when, when push comes push to comes shove, shove. there are really some hate. hate that. He knows yeah. that his woman is a reflection of him. So he it's good yeah. that he wants you to look your best, be your best. And when you feel your best, that it, trickles down to your relationship so i For feel sure. like i have to have that talk with my boyfriend because it was like in the beginning how, this is how this is what i really want to do this is how i want to move forward are you going to be okay with this and of mm -hmm. course they always say that they will but mm -hmm. i feel like your man should be your biggest cheerleader and For it's just sure. like he wants my boyfriend the same with me he wants me to like he's like yeah he is he doesn't say but he'd he be like i want you to take care of me at one point i'm like i'm not doing okay, that go to hell. but <laughs> too far <laughs> Too far too with far. that one. I'm not doing that, but I definitely would always want to have my own as well. And I'm like, I think that your man should be your cheerleader. And I think that's such a good thing because you can yeah. be a mixture of both. For sure. for sure. And I feel like too many people, like, I also think, like, too many girls will, like, kind of settle for that and, like, fall into that. Like, when they are kind of haters, it's, like, it gets people's self-esteem super low. Yeah. And, you know, just basically, ha I've gone through that. Have you out mm -hmm. here hating yourself, thinking that you're not the baddest Fact. bitch when you're the baddest bitch? Yeah, hold on, I'm tripping like, you real hate quick. Yeah. Like, honestly, like, one of my ex-boyfriends is a hating ass bitch would block so many opportunities for me. Oh. I would have deals on the line and he would hit that. Why are you trying to do a deal with Wait, my... Who? Oh, no. <laughs> Why can't he never come on the Because he's a hater, bitch. Because he knows we're doing good. Yeah, That's what he do. He's a hater, bitch. He don't want me to do good. Like, he really is a hater. But anyways, you know who you are. See, anyway. <laughs> and Terrell has stuck with me through my hardest times. And, like, when I wasn't my best. And mm -hmm. when I was, like, gained so much weight. I went through post postpartum depression. Like, I had Bell's palsy. Like, my whole face was paralyzed. Really? For, like, six months. Like, after I was not always, yeah, after my baby, like four oh months goodness. after I had my second son or my second kid. And it was really, really hard for me. And it w it put a tamper on everything, like everything that I was doing. I disappeared off the Internet for like a year, a year Sometimes and a half. Sometimes necessary. Yeah. Like, yeah. And I just, but for me, like I've always made money on the Internet. So mm -hmm. I'm like, what the? Like mm, it's over yeah. with. Like I'm. What am I doing? Like I can't even post my stuff. I can't wear my stuff. I can't do this. I've gained so much weight. And I went through a lot, and he always stuck with me through that. And he always was still bigging me up through my darkest times, too. Right. So now I feel like that this is, like, top tier, Heather. Like, I think I'm the best that I've ever been. Mm -hmm. Just look spiritually, great. mentally, yeah. physically, everything. Thank you. Right. And, like... He he's like he's reaping the benefits of all his hard work, like dealing with my <laughs> <laughs> breakdowns and right. depression and crying every day. Look, and he's honest, like my best yeah, friend. That's a real one, though. So that is. That, that is. sounds solid. Sounds yeah. really good. He's my best friend, so he gets it the worst. Yeah. yeah. Especially know? when you deal with like mental health stuff and like mm -hmm. depression. It is hard for people to remain solid in those times because so many people just want the happiest yeah. version of you. Mm -hmm. The version that's always yeah. on 10, on point, the baddest bitch in the room. Like, yeah. Sometimes I can't be the bad bitch. Sometimes I'm sad. Like, yeah. you know, so that's really a real person to just stick by for your side. Sure. Friendships, too. Shout out to yeah. Terrell, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Shout friendships, out to too. And I love how you speak so highly of him because I'd be on here, this podcast every other week, like, my man getting on my damn nerves today. <laughs> I mean, he gets on my nerves, too. <laughs> but. I'm like, I, I, mean, I literally, while you're talking, I'm like, I need, to, I need to be more like that. I'm but like, for the most part, I <laughs> do. We don't know what every, you be saying on camera. Exactly, like, what you be saying on back on feed? I know. <laughs> oh, Lord. That's why they be in your ass. Come on. Look, they didn't, they didn't look. I didn't we speak. be going at it out back on feed. Really? But the, yeah. Really? So, oh, Because sometimes I get in my feelings mm -hmm. and I say I'm not going to lie. I did see one clip. When you made me cry? Yes. Yeah. I wasn't gonna bring it up, but since you okay. said since you said it, I saw that I was like, Fuck, they got her. She cried. Yeah. She cried on the goddamn podcast. You're making me look bad. Oh no! I cried on the podcast two <laughs> episodes ago. I did. That shit was viral. That shit was embarrassing. Look, oh, look at her laughing at my pain. They had canceled me. Her for we they canceled you. Idea. They, they canceled, canceled her me. Finally, one time. She oh, gets she canceled. Me to feel, I did not. You're like. 
I'm gonna sock you in your face. <laughs> she is a liar. She's like, she wanted me to feel this. No, because I'm always getting canceled for the first time ever. I felt you are. And I was it. crying my little eyes out. I was, I was. She was so sad. It, it wasn't because I don't mind being canceled for something that I said because I'm definitely gonna say some crazy yeah. shit all the time. But it's just like. It was, be, it was, they it were was coming so for my character. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It yeah. was, it's a difference when they come for your character. They come for my character too, though. That's what be pissing me off. Like, yeah. I don't like when people call me a liar, a bad person, a bad friend. Those are all true. Because I'm like, bitch. <laughs> 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 Anyways. <laughs> no. You know what? I've learned, because I've always had great positive feedback. Like, my Instagram is very positive. I can brag and say yeah. that I have no drama on my instagram tiktok yeah. whatever yeah like it's always positive but ever since i've been doing back on fig it's very negative because too and many people have voices to have their opinions when you I'm put yourself you, out there so much yeah yes. it's so different and like, i never talked i never did interviews yeah. nobody would ever hear me say a word yeah. all you would see is pictures yeah yeah and that's fire. it that's Thank where you. that's <laughs> where it, that's where it like it's hard though when you start does, putting yourself yeah. out there and i think that for me i always put my i've always put always. myself out there like overly showed my personality and like wanted people to know like i'm not some yeah, bad like, girls club it's like i'm a funny nice person but it has its downfalls because when you put yourself out there in the world it's like a door for so many opinions mm -hmm. and sometimes people are sheep so if they decide a narrative is going to go a certain way it's going to go a certain way yeah. like you know so it's like you have to have the power to try to flip the narrative and just be the best person that you possibly can and like say that's I was flipping that narrative. I was like, uh uh. Yeah. Because my first time being canceled, y'all ain't about to have that on me. And yeah. when we first started this podcast, <laughs> she let me know. She was like, Shy, you gonna have you have to understand that you're putting yourself in front, like in front of this platform mm -hmm. where people will have opinions. And she also was like, they may form opinions that aren't you at mm -hmm. all. And it's just it's yes. and in the beginning I didn't really realize it, but it's just like so many people will have an opinion on you, and it's just like you that is not me yeah. who do you like you know so it's just it's weird to like experience that for the first time and it's just like mm -hmm. i feel like they're finally figuring out that we're, we're two different people yeah at the end of the day yeah. also know? i feel like that makes you a better person too though especially like in this era of social media it's like okay we could all watch a blog and be quick to judge mm -hmm. somebody because if you've never experienced what it feels like to be on the other end of but that i've never been thing, the type of bitch really be like yeah post, you like, have but, like you, you know what I'm saying? It. That's just weird to me. Yeah, you have not. But like when somebody finally gets a taste of like, oh, this is what it feels like to have like this magnifying glass on you. It's like, let me watch what I say to people. Let me be not as quick to judge people and like, you know, place judgment because obviously I know what it feels like to be judged nonstop. Very true. Like, yeah. you know? And that's why you say when people do judge you a certain way, it's just with a big platform, you're like, why are you doing this? I think it's weird. I don't, I don't even like being friends with who talk down on people on social media who feed too much into blogs. Because it's like we are, we're just like special people and we're willing to put our personality out there and our lives out there and our personal mm -hmm. business out there too. Like we're willing to put it out for y'all to watch and be entertained by. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And the regular person is going to tear you down and tear your ass up. But it's just like applaud me for being able to do this for y'all yes. to even be able to watch they will never know anything. what that feels like yeah. no they would never know it'd be random so. people in wisconsin like yeah. you will be like that think that uh, that's nothing what is that for you to be in front of a camera taking pictures oh blah 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 like just hating like it takes a lot it does it it's takes a, a lot. lot it does just to put yourself out there have you mm -hmm. ever had a moment where you felt like you're gonna get canceled <laughs> yeah, a lot. I'm back on Facebook. No way. Really? Yeah. <laughs> like, Maybe what? Like that? Well, I just almost got canceled because I had COVID last week. Oh, I <gasps> saw that. Yes, Yo, so. she, I calling, she calling me the I stalker. just seen it because I started. <laughs> <laughs> it's Look, on TikTok, though. Yeah, it when is, I looked I on, TikTok, on TikTok, it like started popping up. Yeah. So I had seen that. Wait, so what happened? I didn't week. see that. And I was, I've had it. I had had it. You still got it? No. I tested positive. Look, be careful, y'all. I, I mean, I tested negative before I went to my workout this morning for everything because everybody's like, do you have it anymore? I'm like, oh, my God. Everybody saw the clip, the I cooties, guess. The, the COVID cooties, the COVID cooties are back. TikTok will have it around. TikTok yeah. will have it. I'm like, girl. don't even know me. And I'm like, I just, I, I have to learn how to um, express myself a little better because I just feel like I'm, I'm just talking to my friends and I forget that I have to explain yes. to a camera, mm -hmm. with, especially with back on fake. It's not like this. Mm -hmm. It's like streaming. It's like just hanging out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like we're all just like hanging out, but we have mics in front of us, okay. you know, and a camera. 
But I don't know. I feel like I should have maybe explained it a little better. But I'm like, I had. I mean, I don't. I probably didn't know if I for sure had it or not when it I was just like when I had got better right but didn't test mm-hmm. negative type thing. Right. Yeah. And it's just like I had it for five days already. They say after your five days. Yeah. That was like my seventh day, mm-hmm. and they were like, oh, after, it was gone. Yeah. I'm like, it's gone. Like <sighs> I I'm mean, getting over it. It's like, just COVID, sorry. y'all. Exactly. We all done had I'm it. Like, sorry that I didn't tell you. I, my bad. I should have yeah. told you before you came. But I don't know who Terrell schedules on his podcast. Mm-hmm every day i don't keep up with these people Mm -hmm. so and i said it right before Mm -hmm. we went live or like we were live but like before we got into it like if i would have said it an hour in yeah Yeah. it would have been up, yeah, but yeah, I feel like I'm gonna get canceled every day on there. And but I'm you, just like, ugh, you can't get canceled. You can't even think that in your mind. That's my mindset. Is like people will try to cancel me all the time, and I'm like, you can't. That's why she be me. off the radar. Y'all, this, this is why I just be saying whatever. The last one, my mouth dropped when she's. I was like. <laughs> And the thing why care. they cancel me is because I did I wasn't empathetic enough, and I'm like I'm trying not to get canceled. And you can we, only get canceled if you let people cancel you. You cannot kill me. I am true. a roach. I will never die. No, that's, that's de- only the time when people get on the internet talking about I am so sorry for my actions, and here's my apology. That's when you finally have gotten canceled. Yeah. But if you mm-hmm. go on there saying Fuck y'all, I don't care. I said what I so said. You ain't never apologize. No. Yeah, you. Girl, no, I have never haven't. apologized. So did you apologize for the COVID incident? Not yet, because we haven't streamed again. Oh, really? I do. I only do it on Fridays. Don't we even apologize. Right now, just girl, explain don't it. Listen, no, if you want to clear the air, clear I'm just going to say, <laughs> yes, I should, we should have expressed to him that I had mm-hmm. COVID. And yeah. that's where I fucked up. And that's it. But I'm not going to go back and forth. Like, there's so many comments on TikTok right now. And I can't even delete. I I used to be on it. Like, delete, 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 delete. Sometimes we try. We be trying, but I'm like, nah, they eat I'm like, whatever. Much. Y'all saw yeah. the clips out. Like, yeah. even my trainer today, he was like, oh, yeah, my wife saw your clip on TikTok. I'm oh, like, God. Oh, lovely. Your yeah, wife, exactly. like, she does not on that side of TikTok. So I'm like, uh, how did she get that clip? It's so awkward. I literally, <laughs> I went to the pool at my friend's apartment building yesterday to grill on the grill. As soon as I walked down there, like, I was just watching your podcast episode. How you feeling? <laughs> since all that you still sad i'm like oh my god why do you know my business it's because i put it on camera for freaking Literally, hundreds yeah. of thousands of people it's, it's so like, awkward you look for me i'd be like right that's it Ugh, it's so awkward when it people know so your awkward. tea but if you do want to express yourself do it you know what i'm saying you, you you have that right to it but i get what she's saying in the same sense of like because when you that gives them more ammo yeah but you knew you was in the wrong you yeah knew, exactly so it's you like, gotta no. be like all of y'all that's really my mindset like it could be a million right. people up against me i have to say fuck every, every single one of y'all yeah. and individually if i I'm have still to get in there she yeah. is getting there she's still like no listen no, please no, no 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 the other when she was when she was going uh, at it with somebody she had made this little tiktok i i wasn't i was oh, like i literally no, know and i'm still i still have to literally be like oh yeah no She'll relax like, do not a little say bit that. do not say I'm that. like winter look me in my eyes if you post something like that mm-hmm I'm like, I don't care, bitch. I'm going to say what I say. No, <laughs> there was just a thing and it like went viral and it was like this whole thing. And I ain't even going to mention yeah. the bitch name, but I did eat her up though. But it was just like, I was saying hella crazy shit. And then she was just like, delete that, delete that. And I was like, okay, you I'm trying to have to be that better. nice balance though. Cause it's just like, I, you can't, I don't know. I'm not here to. I'm People not, just want their little raggedy ass moment, just trying to jump on some bandwagon. No, yeah, I'm not here to argue with like, the world forever. Just yeah. shut up. Well, yeah. I gave that bitch her moment though. And now she looked dumb. So. Whatever. Yeah, only give it to her one. Don't give yeah. her nothing. Else, Never obviously. ever. Yeah. I'm not trying to argue every day. I know I'm bitch. I ain't got so, time to bicker. It's so yeah, tired. It's so tired. It takes so much oh, energy. Oh my god. Yeah. Too much. It really is too much. Should we play the game now? Yeah. You were looking at your phone. <laughs> You're not slick. Every time you look at your phone, I catch you. Where is it? Oh, it's under there. She always catching. Can me. you reach it with your long little? It's arms? Okay. What's your, you have notes on your phone? No. We have the notes time. on your phone. We know like the, yeah. the hours. This is where our notes are. This is where. You guys, if you guys think these are just props, no, we actually write we our actually stuff down. We're very professional. No. No. You didn't ask me any questions. I was like, hold on, she can't see the notes. No, she <laughs> can't okay. see them. She can't be prepared. <laughs> I know. I was going to ask, like, hey, do you have the questions that you guys are going to ask? You know, and we oh, thought yeah. about that, too. Like, let me not yeah. be that girl. Because because you, no, 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 no but that's fine, because you are a second guest. So we are like, do we have to be professional and be like, send her a little, like, this is what we're going to talk about. Yeah. I mean, I think that that's completely fine. Like if I've ever done anything, I'm like, what are we going, what you going to bring up? Like, you know, yeah. if, if it's okay, like type vibe. I, mean, I like being surprised. Yeah. As long as it's not too crazy. And then if I'm like, I don't want to talk about it, don't air that shit. Like that's what what's something you don't want to talk about. Nothing. So. I, I think I've talked about <laughs> everything. Sorry. You know? She's in my brain so <laughs> bad here. Who? She's in my, she just be in my brain. <laughs> Wait, how do we play this? So Risha says, okay. no, I'm just kidding. What'd she say? <laughs> so the thing is, the first one's on here. 
Success. Basically, 21, you pull the cards and you got to do what the cards say. Basically, there's some wild so cards in here. In card, like, yeah. There's some wild cards. I don't cards. think I can there's reach so far. Should we have our own little stack of room? <laughs> like, we could just okay. pull from? Or not? That's weird. Okay. <laughs> so you get something that's like dare, right? Yeah, some that is it a dare. Oh. Some could be wild cards, and if you don't want to do it, take a shot. That's well, the way well, I play. We can't do no okay. damn dare because we're we can right do a dare. That, I seen one of them. It was like, show your titties. You ain't trying to show me. I will show you. <laughs> I will show everybody in this room. <laughs> Kaden will get a good day. <laughs> Kaden. <laughs> okay, you should I just keep it right here? Kaden. How should we start? I know, right? Kaden's such a cute name. My little nephew's name is Kaden. That's my cousin's name. Kaden, let's go a little cousin? bit over an hour today. We're right. having a good time. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're having a good time because we were. Oh my God, this is hella funny. Oh, wait, wait. Why my we want to go on the line? So ghetto. No, you can't look at them all. No, no, no. I no. Was to you no. <laughs> she was. She, she's like, I ain't doing that one. Uh, uh-uh, put them right here so we can see. Put them down. Look, mine is right here, y'all, so y'all can see them. <laughs> uh-uh. Oh, wait, wait, I'm not gonna. She already looked at the first one, but it's funny. Okay, well, you're pour me up a shot, bitch. You know I'm gonna take a shot for this. <sighs> it says. Take a shot if you ever swipe, scamming asshole. I did have my little moment <laughs> that I was swiping cards. I wasn't proud of it. I almost went to jail one time. I said, Bitch, oop, this not for me. I don't so know. Wait, so do we all go to <laughs> God. I'm not a scammer. Sorry. I'm not trying to do my oh, JT funny. time. Wait, so we should all answer, huh? Yeah. Or just you? No, we all got to answer. Okay. Oh, should we all answer? Yeah, that's what we did the first time. Yeah. All right, so it's my go now. So have you ever swiped? No. Hell no. I do I look like a scamming ass? I yes. never did, but. <laughs> You have you? No. But oh, if you okay. got something for me, like have a you card or something. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you know okay, my answer. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Did I, wait, technically, when I when I worked at Winn-Dixie and I was giving out them no. free groceries? It's like Winn Dixie. Yo, she's <laughs> from Louisiana. Okay. <laughs> she's like, not Winn -Dixie. Winn -Dixie. the Winn-Dixie. <laughs> not everybody has Winn-Dixie. Yeah, Winn-Dixie is Louisiana. You're from Dallas, Look. right? Mm -hmm. Look Texas. that up, too. Mm -hmm. I'm really so still rat. taking our shot, even though we didn't do it, right? If you want to. Oh my God, girl! Hey. We about to have to take so many damn shots, Look, probably. I know, right? Oh. All right, oh go, Shy. My turn. <laughs> but mm, that's stupid. Oh. You can't do that. Only we can. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm so not fair. I dare you to show your titties right now, or take two shots. Well, how was that the second one? Wow. Look, show them. Hey. No, are you going to show them? <laughs> no, hell no. Look, Katie I'm looking at the screen extra hard. Katie. <laughs> I mean, I'm not about to do that. Let me just read one more. Please. Them little ass mosquitoes. Everything gonna be mad, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just you kidding. Wrong. I'm exactly. Just kidding. Look, she just has beautiful like, small breasts. I actually wish I still had small titties. I should have yeah, never exactly. got them. She be talking about getting a breast reduction all the time. Yeah, me a too. breast reduction, but you mean an implant Don't removal? Have you never touched your body? Never will. Don't touch it, honey. It's just been a mess for me ever since. Same. I'm like, well, nothing's ever same. right. I've you got lipo. Great. I've got my boobs done like three times. <sighs> three That's times? Mm -hmm. After each kid, I'm like, she you know had what? two BBLs. I had two BBLs. I was, I was shaped. My ass was shaped like a Dorito. It's still not all the way, honey. That shit it's is hard ugh. when you touch yourself. God. It's never right. So yeah, just don't do it, y'all. I mean, yeah. I've, I've gotten um, my lip fillers. What? Yeah, that's fine. That's it. Take a shot if you ever sell food. I'm, okay, Carisha. <laughs> Wait, what? Take a Why shot if you ever sell food stamps. Oh. <laughs> I've never sold food stamps. I actually had food stamps before. I so. have bought food stamps, but I I've never stamps sold them for sure. I've sold food stamps before. <laughs> and in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, you can do it all. I had food stamps for so long, like forever, damn near. They're great. Bitch, I, I have still food stamps try to get until food I could not get them again. I, like, would, I wish they would just give us food stamps. Like we need exactly. it. Exactly. Living I, here in yeah, this honestly, high state. I'd be getting Girl. crab legs and lobster tails. Shit's so irritating. I'm tired of this high ass rant. All right, your turn. Your turn. My turn. Take a shot if you ever got food catered but pretended that you cooked. No, never. Mm -mm. All right. no, I never did that. Never you did that either. That was mm -mm. so wholesome. I know. Why is yours so wholesome? The whole right? <laughs> what the I hell? Because I'm wholesome. No. <laughs> what? Hold on. You did it. <laughs> <laughs> Take a shot if you ever let a man finger ride you or if a man, I'm saying man, y'all. Or if you let a man that likes fingers in your ass. This is so dumb. Because you know I did everything sexual. So that's dumb. I, sh I just say a new one. You're a sexual person? Okay. I'm a, listen. Something about this little cat that talks back. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> and you're single? Girl, 
because I really like get them out of here. I don't like people. <laughs> she judged Judy to the I'm bullshit. I'm judged Judy. I'd be like, next, you gotta go. I'd yeah. be like, you know, you gotta have a little bit more patience sometimes. I don't have patience in relationships. I'm, I'm trying though, because now I'm 30, so I'm about to get a man, y'all. <laughs> take a shot if you had to do something for money that will you will take to the grave. You didn't sell that pussy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> What? I don't know. <laughs> First of all, people already think I was a. But I probably take to the grave though. It's not that really deep. not that deep, but we could just take a shot. I like where your hands at. Yeah, we'll take one just because. And I can't say it because I am trying to get a man. Otherwise, I would tell y'all my business. But y'all just reminded me, so now I have to be on my toes. You do. You gotta lie about everything when you're trying to get a man. I know. <laughs> it's a man. I need a man. You got kids. I know you some know children. you don't have don't need a man. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I need right a man now. to bake my children. And okay. I was going to go that. to a sperm bank, but I was like, damn, I do. I should give my kids some family, huh? Sure. That's fucked up. They need a grandma. Take a shot for me. Mm. Not need a grandma. Well, two. Shit. Take a shot if you ever went on a trip with your friends and had sex with one of them. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? Okay. Wow. <laughs> See, one time in my life, I want to go on a crazy girls trip. I was just telling Terrell this. I'm like, I've girl. never gone on a girls trip ever. You got to come in with my us life. If you want to go on a crazy girls trip, I've never been crazy. I've never done nothing crazy at all. Yeah, I'm dry. Really? No, you have you to come Aquarius. on a trip You're in Aquarius. I know you're doing us. something. Well, now she's not I'm as not. fun. Huh? Who? I'm not as fun. We, we used to have a lot of fun when she was single. Not like how fun, Evan. Sorry. But yeah, like, be watching. Yeah. But we used to have a lot of fun on trips. I would like do stuff like show my tits to the cab driver. Now I can't do stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. We were, we, we went to. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, <laughs> wow. I can't say that thing. So you're pulling titties well, out. Well, I'm still no happy. Matter what. Titties I'm still happy. Out. Time, so, like, yeah. <laughs> we would flash a lot of people. We would, it would be fun. Some fun, fun stuff friend. like that. Now it's like, no. I'm the dry friend. And I'm like, I'm you would not even be able to be dry with us. I promise you, we would turn you into a different person. No, I, I mean, swear to gosh, you would be having a ball. Yeah, it would at least be a ball. I need to do it one time in my life. You have to. Like, I've what? only been on like family trips, vacation trips. Your That's sister's not... seen cool. Y'all trying to come out with us? Right. They're, they're lit. <laughs> Especially Kaylee. <laughs> Wait, so do you make, this is off subject, but do you make, like, not make time, but do you have like a good, like, work balance between friends and like, you no. don't? Still figuring that out? So you don't feel Still like you have no that. friends? No. Really? Really? Not really. Uh -huh. You know what? I we'll have be why I say on like that? Look, I know. Look, we'll I be your friends if you want to hang friends. out. No. I have a couple friends. I'm mm -hmm. not going to say. Because when I say I have no friends, my actual friends exactly. are like, exactly. bitch, what about me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have a couple friends that I love. But I don't, I don't know. I really don't feel like I have like a day to day, like best friend that's like always calling really? me really? or like always like coming to my house. No, I don't have that. And I think it's because Terrell. Because you have, you have like have a best friend him, in him. And then yeah. I also have three sisters. You got kids, sisters, My a man, mom. your I'm mom. I'm just like so busy. Yeah. Like, yeah. I never had the time to like, ooh, I have like a best friend. Like, but I'm you should connect. have that though, honestly. No, there is something different needed. within like a girlfriend. Yeah. And I, I still have that struggle sometimes too, even though like I do. We not, we, we locked in, but like y'all been locked in for some years, you know? Yeah. So it is like a fine balance when I'm when sometimes I'm like lacking with my friendships. I'm just like because I got a lot of family shit going on right now. You know what I'm saying? I got mm -hmm. family relationships and I'm like my friends need to understand that sometimes they got to have the back burner. But it's like balancing it all is just a lot. So I feel you for sure. It's I don't really lot. feel like I get the back burner. But no, of course not. But it's just like, you know, <laughs> when you have four older sisters, you got, you know, parents, yeah. nephews, you got. 12 best friends you know what right. I'm saying it's just a lot sometimes for me yeah. I feel like it's different because I like it's so weird because like my best friend is so family oriented like is in a relationship has all this stuff and for me it's opposite like I have no family I don't have a man like I'm really just like you got my family I mean yeah be like how's winter I mean Aww, yeah but good. like it's just so different so mm -hmm. I lean into my friendships like extra like I need my friends like mm -hmm. you know Cause I I don't have like those things in L A. I need my friendships Where's your for sure. Winter in the Bay Area. Okay. Yeah. So I'm from the Bay, and then my dad is from England. So he's in England, and then my family's in the Bay. Okay. So I have no family members. I don't have. Do I have one family member? I don't have one family member like in Los Angeles. Yeah. So see, that's how really I am. All, I don't have any family. All my family's in Texas. Yeah. So. So you didn't like to me. My sister out here. Which is great. Yeah, to, but to me, though. when I came out here, it, I really leaned into my friendships because I'm like, I'm so used to being crowded by like a big family. family. So it's just mm -hmm. like, 
I need to make these decisions of like, who is my, I've had the same friends for years. I'm like, I have to have that solid bond because that's just what I'm used to. And I'm like, I don't want anything yeah. that's different from that, you know? Right. Yeah. Is it, do you think because your friends are also in social media as well and they have their own shit going on, their own families Do you too? have friends in social media? Like, are your friends into it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like I don't really like honestly it's been hard for me to like connect with girls who are in like the kind of in like not industry but like entertainment like social media type stuff because I feel like I don't like having friends that I cannot have a genuine connection with and I've felt like over time that when I'm friends with girls who do kind of similar things as me they look at it kind of as like a competition or like I'll peep little weird shit and I'm just like I'm not your friend because I want to compete with you or yeah. just anything clout based I'm yeah. just literally I just want genuine friendship so most of my friends aren't like super into like the social media thing that's good yeah what I will say she wants like we have similar personalities we could do the same thing she really like she edges me on she like pushes me towards doing more social media stuff because mm -hmm. i do we do have similar personalities like, yeah she's like i want you to do this you could be doing this you could be doing this this and that and i'm like i don't know take it easy yeah. you know so but i'm like you do push me towards that which is like a great thing yeah. it's like you don't see because people we don't see that i love her so much and like when i first started like having her come on my youtube channel and stuff i already knew people were gonna love her because if they even are a supporter of mine i'm like you have to support my best friend because she's like a literal like She's me in a different form. So I'm just mm -hmm. like, hello, like, obviously you're going to love her. In a less so. aggressive form. What? In a less, in a less aggressive form. form? Yeah, for <laughs> sure. For, in like a sweeter, more friendly social butterfly form. I'm not that social of a person. I only like to be friends with people I know. And that's weird because it's like, how are you going to get to know people? <laughs> yeah. I know. IDK. It's bad. It's weird. At least you got your sister here. But it's your turn. Yeah. My turn? Okay. Pull your mm -hmm. bag in. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Shy? We've known each other for years. We got close. Yeah. We've known each other for years, but we started hanging out more like right before COVID happened. Yeah. So it just was like, you had nothing else to do but really like yeah. connect. We in knew a sense. of each mm -hmm. other, but we, and we would like say hi when we saw yeah. each other, but I never knew that we were like mm. cosmically connected soul sisters. Don't touch me. <laughs> Don't touch me. <laughs> but She's like, are you a touchy Aquarius? Or are you a non touchy Aquarius? Not really. Like, I just be. With her she because messes she with me because I'm like, yeah, but no, I'm not really either. Like, I'll touch my friends like this. Yeah, me too. Love yeah, you. you know what I'm saying. Like, can, like, can you please hug me? All my oh. sisters say the same thing. <laughs> They'd be like, can you show a little bit more? Can you not? Yeah. Can you take things a little bit more seriously? Can you do? Even Terrell, he's like, can you just like a little bit? Yeah, it's just like you're just yeah. Not. Oh, I even had that in your relationship? No. I'm, I'm a little like bit that. better than normal outsiders. I'm right. a little bit more softer with him, but mm -hmm. not much. Yeah. I had that problem <laughs> in the beginning of my relationship. He was like, you need to be more vulnerable. Yeah. Yeah. It's just it's just a hard wall to like come over. You know what I'm it saying? Is. It and it, it is an Aquarius thing. People don't really realize that, but it yeah. really is. Well, I'm it a Taurus beach. I only like Tauruses to be a, I don't know. crazy. Every Taurus I know. I have two best friends Taurus. Yeah, she's a nut job. My yeah. dad's a Taurus. I'm a nut job. She's a literally nut. No, if y'all seen the Patreon, she was trying to tear dry. the door down. She was doing all type of weird no. wild shit. We I went to like, a rage room, bitch. I was over there. She was like, yeah. I'm like, they're I was demanding. Going they're yeah. really strong personalities. Yeah. I'd be like, you that, know. One thing about me, I do have a really strong personality, but it, when you know me, you know that I'm like a, a sweetheart, extreme a sweetheart. Person, like yeah. I'm a sweetheart. And that's, I think that's probably why I come off so hard to the world. Cause I really am so soft. I'd so be I'd fighting be for my myself. life with her. I'd be like, you don't know her. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They don't though. They really yeah, they don't. Really people, don't. I'm like, she's who sweetest. people think I am is like kind of opposite <laughs> mm. from who I actually am. So right. it's very interesting. Mm, I think it's kind of on brand. Big. On brand. <laughs> Oh Dang, yeah, we doing a podcast. <laughs> Wait, what she said? No, she well. said I noticed she speaks her emotion. Her yes. sister Molly, <laughs> her sister back there. Time to come okay. on in. Come, come on, on in. <laughs> Sit down with us. Okay. Take a yeah. shot. We got it. That's funny. A sister's podcast. <laughs> Take yeah, a shot. I, you and your sisters. Look, okay, this has never happened to me. I'm gonna ask y'all. Take a shot if a bitch has ever came to you as a woman, or if oh. a nigga has ever came to you about his girl. Oh, ain't nobody came to me about that girl because I'm people's man but yeah. has a bitch ever came to me as a woman multiple times <laughs> <laughs> i only deal with hoe ass men so yeah pretty much what about you i've never experienced shy, go ahead and take that shot girl i, I do know a couple stories I'll take it with you shy <laughs> thank you look she sent a dm look cheers because i i finally like expo <laughs> i finally been like me and my boyfriend have been talking for like a year like we had been like you know 
But I finally posted him. Like, literally, she probably had been watching my page because the oh, moment, man. the same day I had posted him, I was like, this is my husband. She, I was like, this is going to be my husband, y'all. She said, if you think this your man, bitch, you got another thing coming. I was like, ah. It's always when you he post wrong. him. As soon as you post somebody, that's when everything. I was like, damn. I, and then, look, I was like, sis, tell me what's up. Right. No, no yeah. I, I wasn't. I didn't entertain it at all, though. I was like, I don't care. Whatever. No, it's crazy, though. Sometimes it be hating. Like, yeah, they just be hating. They do. When she's sure. in the picture, though, I was like, what's this? Look, was this? Wait, what do you mean? So this is real? No. <laughs> <laughs> I saved the day. I was like, this was a year ago. She got me fucked up. I don't. You know, so you, that's never know. happened to you? Never. That's really solid. Damn. I love that. Yeah, I'm a fan of him now. I don't even know if I was before. No, I'm so I never, I never, I never, actually, I will. I will answer this. 2019. Card. Wait, what? No, since I was 19. Since been, you were 19. Since I was 19. I was just telling my sister this in the car. Wait, so he, is he your first? No. Okay. Oh, period. At least. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Oh, at least you had some dick before. Turn it up. <laughs> I always say my mom has only ever been with my dad, and I'm like, girl, you don't know all the dicks. I mean, that's amazing. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, no. I, I, I gotta, gotta have me a little test run. If I was with the first man that I had ever been with, I would think that limp dick was a thing. You know what I'm saying? I think that it was just like normal. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And it's not. No. Well, it is. I think that everybody me. needs to at least have sex with a good amount of people in their life. How many? A few. At least. <laughs> I'm mean, a hey, winner. Look, I, you don't trust me because I'm going to tell you too many, but I don't know. Like, I feel like <laughs> at least a good like six, seven. And you know what pisses me off? I've only when been people, with one man my whole life. You lying? Are? She's a lying ass bitch. Oh, I okay. believe her. <laughs> I'll never believe that. I'm not going to say 10, but at least a good six. I'm That's sorry, good. but you have to experience different sexual encounters. I'm not past encounters. my hands and my toes for sure. You do. You do. You do. I you am. You pass your hands and your toes? No. No. Slut. I forgot. I'm, I'm trying kidding. to find my man. Oh, you pass your hands and your toes. I've only had sex with three people, y'all. So, you know what they say. Multiply by. Nobody emotion. counts if it's been like past like. Three years. Like, I how long yeah, I've been with my man? Three I done got my nobody body done. I done. I done. Nobody done. Exactly. Right. I done got my body done. I done did hell of shit. You don't even know what this coochie feel like no more. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, so mine says, and this is a misconceived notion. I don't mm -hmm. know if that's the proper word. Take a shot if you have had a sugar mama or sugar daddy. You know people really think that I be having sugar daddies? I look I, for the record. I have never had no goddamn sugar daddy. And people DM me all the time talking about some, how do you uh, get a sugar daddy? I don't know. I don't talk to old men. They irritate me and they're weird. I don't do that. I'm sorry. I used to, and it was so irritating. Irritating. It I don't have so the patience. Irritating. But I was when, that, when I was doing that, I was like, okay, let me just try it out. Whatever. I only talked to one guy, though. and I let me never, not extreme it. But only one guy. He was like 50 years old. I was like 18. I'm a relationship girl. I can't do the sugar daddy. Thing. I really realized quick that this is not for me. It's annoying. It's so annoying. I don't want to talk to your dumb old ass about what At the all. news. But what I did have him buy into Terrell TV, buy into Ooh, yo, all kind of stuff. Did he like, know about it too? No, I was just like, I need this, I need that, I need that. Let me have the car, let me do this, let me do that. And I was doing it for Terrell, like whatever. Oh, that you're a real writer, you're a real bitch right there. Look, I did, I was 18 too. And he was an attorney. Turns out he killed his wife. Which what? Is, <gasps> yeah, crazy story literally i never did anything with him but i literally <laughs> never did anything with him but he was an attorney and like literally like two three years later turns out he killed his wife and is still in jail right now but i remember the last That's time because he was like i would like it, i was like it was like the type of where i'm young i'm bringing all of my friends we're going out to dinner doing stuff like that like it was never really like that much of money but he would give me money here and there but it was like having a good time he gave me a few thousands but i hate when they don't think they got a sugar money. daddy yeah, exactly i hate when they got a sugar daddy but really they be giving them like 200 dollars here and there yeah no 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 it was like sugar daddy. at 18 it was still i was like a thousand is still a lot i was like mm -hmm. i'm getting that's money. what i'm saying at 18, yeah, 18 like i don't even know if right. that counts yeah. yeah honestly it doesn't actually anymore because bitches is out here getting money now. no they are they get out now if i was to be getting like bands on bands on bands i might find a little bit of patience in my body right but i how just much? how much <laughs> i mean no, no, if i was getting at least like 30 a month but, i'd be like i could shut the up Girls and ask you are about your out day? here yeah. asking them people for ten thousands, twenty thousand yeah. dollars, and they time. are getting it. And, they're getting and I'm it. sure if I was the type of person that could do that, I could. But I just don't have it in me. Like I was, a, I yeah. was a stripper from seventeen to like twenty one, and it disgusted. I was just like, ew, you guys annoy me. I'm too smart for this. I feel like you guys are gross little creatures, and like I don't want to have you in my life and i don't want to be texting you all day to get some money out of you i just was like i'd rather just it's be just, a boss like yeah. nah i'm not doing that 
I've, I've definitely wanted to strip like one day just to see what it's like. You know what I'm saying? Just Girl, you so ain't gonna make no money. No, I kidding. thought about it when I was <laughs> young. I went to the white strip club. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I never got the balls or guts to do it though. But I thought about it. I'm like, it's I could do fun. this. Like I'm cute. Like Did you, I could do you it. You met him at 19. Yeah, I met him at 19. That and is then so we went amazing. like a whole year, and then I moved out here like a week before my 20th birthday. Really? That's mm -hmm. so So y'all moved out here together. You know, no, he's from here. Oh, he's from here? Mm -hmm. He's from South Central LA. And you know what's quite, they, the, the, the rate when women move for a man is not as successful as you would think. Like a lot of people have like gone, not saying move for a man, but just like have moved to a different state. That's, my man's from New York, so I'm, I'm scared. I'm like, I don't want to move. Because I feel like the moment I move, he might be beating my ass up. I don't know. Oh. You never know. No, yeah. It's scary. Gosh, what the hell? And even it's my not mom even was like, that, but you I know don't know saying? if you should leave. Like, I don't know what you're doing. Yeah, you never he know. He had flu here, got a flight here. I packed my car up, and I left my mom's house. She's like, I don't know. I remember hearing that yeah. story somewhere. Mm -hmm. Back yeah, in the day. It's somewhere on YouTube. Yeah. It's, it's, I've said this before. And I left, and I never came back. I literally left when I was 19 You never old. moved back home one time? And I never. I, I, we so drove out here in my Ford Fusion 26 hours, and I never came back home. I've been in L.A., and I kind of, like, made a name for myself. Like, I made a mark here. Like, I feel like I did, like, what I was supposed to do, mm -hmm. moving from Texas at 19. Yeah. Like, I did what I was supposed to do, and, Yeah. No, you definitely a name, and you are yeah, a mark, you for and sure it's commendable. Did. It is, it really is, because that's a that's an admirable trait. So many people, like go outside; they can't have their relationships. Facts. They last. move back to Texas. They literally, yeah. you know, not, what I'm you like, know, a lot of people don't last out here. That's another thing. You have to be so strong minded and like just strong willed, like and even though you've talked openly about things that you've battled with, like even with mentally or anything, it's like, it's really about how you can overcome those things. Because I don't think like For sure. when you go through things as a person, that doesn't make you weak. It's just about how you overcome them and keep it pushing and keep it rolling. Like just got to roll with the punches. Like, you know, so I think that makes the best type of person and woman in LA. Cause mm -hmm. it's like, you're always going to be able to just get back up and like do your thing. When you For can sure. last in LA, you could go anywhere. Like it's 100%. a hard, it's a hard, it's, it's hard, hard out here. here. It's yes. hard here. And, and you I've put, said I, feel like I said before on interviews, like we were staying at a hotel together. Mm -hmm. I was staying in a hotel. My mom would call me like, Hey, like thinking I'm big mm -hmm. doing it. Cause we're, I was, I left moving into a house with this guy right. with a pool, right. mm -hmm. two story house, five bedroom, six bedroom. And then she calls me one day and I'm in a hotel and I still have to like tell her like, hey, yeah. like, yeah, we're doing good. Like, we oh just like women in the pool. Like, this is this, holding it together. Right. Like, I'm never going to tell them that I'm living in a hotel. Yes. Right. Oh, my goodness. I'm never going to tell them that I right. failed. Two yeah. months coming out. I mean, but that's and like what got happens. Out of there, when you come into L.A., it's like hard to keep up with everything. Like, you can't just... Like, people think that as soon as you move to L.A., it's just like, oh, you got famous. Yeah. You got money. You figured it out. It took me fucking years to, mm -hmm. like, really, like, be where yeah. I needed to. I knew I was going to be there. Though. Yeah. I always knew I was going to be there. I feel like when you are, like, somebody like us, like, you always know the potential that you have within yourself. And sure. you always feel it. Mm -hmm. And it's like, no matter what, the universe has it in store. But it's just going to take a couple turns, like, you know. And you know what's crazy? Coming from, like, a small town, any little thing you do. People from that small town are like, you doing it big out there. And it's oh, like, yeah. I got to live up to what they, what they think I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. doing it. I'm like, I really just got to be doing That's it. That's my family on Facebook. Bro. Oh, girl. Oh, my my I'm big doing think it. I'm a celebrity. Oh, I'm yeah. like, <laughs> same. Yo, same I'm sorry. I know. That was me, yeah. too. Any little thing that I did, like my family on Facebook. And I try to post here and there to keep them updated. But they just mm. like, they think I'm doing the best, like the best. Mm -hmm. Like I'm the most like. I'm everything to them. Yeah. You know, yeah. like, and, and it's hard and, to be everything for them. But that's exciting, sometimes. though. It is exciting. Like, it is. you know, it's like, it's exciting to like be this person for your family that it's like, I could look, because I feel like even like with young, younger generations in my family, I feel like I could have somebody who looks at like, oh, well, my cousin did this or my sister mm -hmm. did this. And like, now I feel like it's like kind of like an opportunity for me to, want to do better for yeah. my life because I feel like when I was growing up I didn't have nobody to like look up to mm -hmm. I had to be the person that I look up to so it's like that's such like a cute thing to like yeah, for be sure. for you know the younger kids you know what I will say I looked up to my cousin Thyra he was like a rapper <laughs> in like Dallas Fort Worth he's still doing his thing in Dallas Fort Worth but he just was always popping had mm -hmm. all the girls Ooh, all the homeboys okay. like everything he was just always tight and it's just like dang I want to be like him I yeah. had a cousin who was a bad bitch 
Her name was Kayla too. My real name is Kayla. So her name was Kayla. Her name was Big Kayla and I was Little Kayla. And she <laughs> was, <laughs> girl, that's why I never went by Kayla because they was just like, really? is your real name Kayla? Yes, my real mm-hmm. name's Kayla. Okay, okay. Yeah. So I never went by Kayla, but I was always like, she's so pretty. Like, she's mm-hmm. so cool. But like, you know, shout out to I Kayla. Like I, don't, I don't too. know if she watches this, but that's cute. Yeah, I don't. Um, Cheers. All my, I mean, shall we, fellas? Cheers, cheers, cheers. Cheers. Y'all should have took a shot with us. I know. I'm here. That this, I'm here for the sisters being here. It really, I know. It'll make me cry. I'll leave here no, crying. I literally was just like, I wonder who she's going to bring. Because, like, obviously she's going to bring people. I was like, I don't know who she's going to bring. Like, is it going to be awkward if we have an audience? And then I was like, I oh, love these are her audience. sisters. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, yeah, that's Usually cool. I'd bring Terrell with me. but he That's what I thought. Yeah. I was mm-hmm. like, she's probably going to bring her man because sure. my homegirl said that she had brought do her you, man onto this Do set. you act yeah. a little, do you not act a little different, but do you act more reserved when he's around sometimes? Like, if we were to ask you a question. And I, in my mind, was like, damn, if he's there, I feel like we're not gonna be able to ask her and shit. No, <laughs> she would still ask it and be like, "Cause you know, everybody go respectful, like, exactly. Everybody though, and I am, and you know what? We've been like slowly separating a little bit, mm-hmm. and it, but it's good though. Mm-hmm. Is that necessary? Yeah, for sure. Like it is good. For thirteen years, yeah, yeah, hell yeah, it's girl. You have to do your own thing, and like I feel like even I- what's been going on on like TikTok and stuff. Like I've seen your stuff pop up. But, like, it seems like you are just so happier right now. Like, from when I used to follow you way back in the day, you seem so much happier. You seem like you're doing, like, this, like, different type of content. And, like, I've seen your, like, stuff pop up, and I'm like, look at there. Like, okay, I haven't followed her in years because I thought she hated me. But, (laughs) I, I, you know, I'm, like, seeing your stuff. And literally today, the 100th episode of Your Man's um, Uh Back on Fig Mm -hmm. popped up. And I was like, oh, that was cute. We should have been invited. (laughs) <laughs> no, my God! Y'all so so definitely invited to the cookout. <laughs> y'all definitely time. invited yeah. back on thing. We definitely have to schedule, y'all. I have a cocktail show too. I if see that. Yeah, that one too. Wait, what is it? It's on back on thing, and we just do cocktails with Heather and Smack. Smack is his other co-host, mm-hmm. and he always called me a strawberry decker. So we made a <laughs> strawberry decker, and it's kind of turned into an episode. Yeah, that's so cute. we have like we're on season two now, and we have like different guests, and I would love for y'all to come. Yeah, we, we love would to drink. Love to come. Um, girl, we we got I'll schedule it up. I'll yeah. It up. Yes, we want to. <laughs> girls supporting girls in LA because, oh my God, it's hard out here. It's hard out here. And we are weird. Let's and be real. are weird. And I love that girls are taking over, especially right now in the yeah. podcast space. I feel like this is a new thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's why I was like, I'm coming no mm-hmm. matter what. Like, People want to hear the LA girls talk more. Like, yeah. we don't have podcasts and shit unless it's like the the white white girls of LA like obviously they have podcasts that's like been boosted to the tops of the charts all we hear is men talking about being high value we yeah. don't want to hear that no more. don't nobody want to hear that yeah. shit yeah nobody want to hear that we want to hear about how you uh made your first million like I'm not trying to hear all that shit doing it in LA like there is New York and other places mm-hmm. but like LA there's not so I was like I'm for sure coming like Honestly, I think that the reason why it's like that in L.A. is because there's not a sisterhood in L.A. Like, I feel like a lot of places, it's like when you come from, like, a different city, Mm -hmm. it's kind of more like, oh, well, she from my city. Or, like, even if we're not from the city, because L.A. is so mixy, like, you Mm -hmm. know, we're all from different places. But it's like we rooted here. Yeah, We're rooted here now. So it's like. Like, This is my home. Yeah, like, we should have a little bit. Like, I'll hit up L.A. girls who, like, are out here now. And they just be, you know. Nobody really sticks together here. I've noticed. Yeah. Like nobody really sticks together. Nobody really has like any loyalty here. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that's a downfall. Like everywhere else, like Atlanta. Yep. Even New York right now, like everybody's sticking together. Mm-hmm. Like they come on each other's stuff. Yes. Like they're always, you know, shouting out each other. Yeah, co- yeah mm-hmm. like some type of like togetherness. And out here is really not that because everybody's just trying to make it. And just, yep. I think it's just everybody's so focused on fucking surviving yeah. here and making it no matter what. They're going to do whatever it takes to do no matter what. That's yeah. just what it is here. But I feel like if LA stick together, together more especially women yeah like we can make like, i feel a like we buzz. could just do so much like there's just yeah. so many beautiful boss ass bitches here yeah. like yeah. seriously and nobody like like how i was saying earlier like that's why i kind of like stray away from like being friends with bitches in the mm-hmm. industry in la because it's like everybody is just so for themselves it's all what mm-hmm. can you do for me yeah and it's just like what can it's we do for that. each other you yeah. know what i'm saying like let's just help each other out and let's lift each other up and that's just it that's all it needs to be yeah, yeah for that's- sure so I'm happy that you came here. I'm yeah, happy that you were a part of our little girl tribe, our best BTL besties. I'm yeah. so excited to be here. <laughs> I'm so excited. Did you have I'm fun? Here. Don't lie. Huh? Did you have fun? Don't lie. 
Did I have what? Fun. fun. Yes, I had so much the fun here. Very good. I don't want it to end. Uh, I know, I don't either. Where are we he, going after this? He gave me a hand nod like three times. He didn't look, oh, Kaden didn't look back and was like. Sorry, Kaden. Look, you know, they'd be on our ass. They'd be like, make the episodes longer. Yeah, exactly. They'd Jesus. be on it. That's why we have a Patreon. We're going out to eat. Y'all want to go out to eat after this? Y'all don't have what to. What y'all got to do? do? What y'all got to do? Look, we're putting them on the spot. They can go. We yeah! Oh, let's go! <laughs> oh, we okay, so y'all are so going to start a Patreon? No, we, no, we got a Patreon. Started oh, a Patreon. We are, so it's just, they want to see us more, so we have started a Patreon. And Please go follow the Patreon. We're going to put it down below. We're also going to put all of Heather's information down. And also, is there anything that you're working on that you want to talk about? Just um, Money for Nails, my gel polish line. Like, we have over 200 colors. It's my second year anniversary in August. 25th Yay. so that's like my newest thing just back on fig sorella of course um my youtube oh i started my own youtube channel so you can follow me there at heather sanders underscore it's the same on all social platforms heather sanders underscore and that's it she got so many damn streams y'all she got she, she is got a success she bitch. got one two, two three <laughs> four five six seven i'm trying seven. to be on it i'm trying to be on <laughs> you it you are okay. girl. it makes me want to be like look i need to get my shit together <laughs> Oh, God. We both. It's together. I we, love this. You know, we like it. I you love this it. for y'all. Yeah. This is Thank like you. our shit. Yeah. We actually want to do a live show. We do. You yeah. should. And you know what's crazy? I We didn't know that we would work so well together, but it We just, never wanted to work with each other. We didn't. Yeah. Not mm -hmm. in the sense like We're that, like but- We're like sisters. We're really It's just like, like you, you don't know how, you, how it can happen. You don't want to mix business with pleasure sometimes. That's why I asked you about how it was with you and your man. It's hard. But it, it's been- Literally smooth the, sailing. Smooth okay. sailing. Even if our transition. even if our rough in, in our rough moments, it's just like we just gotta talk about it. Like it's just another like weird yeah. little mm -hmm. well, you'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, That's um, thank you guys for watching this podcast. Please go check out Heather. She is an original bad bitch. Original. And we are here. so thankful thank that you came on this podcast. Thank Seriously. you so much for thank having you. me. Thank you. So happy to be here. So proud of you guys. Thank, thank you. you so much. You're welcome. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Behind the Likes. And go check out the Patreon because we bought the vlog. So bye. 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 bye.